In this tutorial, I will show you how to interface the iRobot Create with my laptop running Ubuntu. Um, so first, I'm going to turn this on. Okay, screen, and we made a beeping noise, that means good. Uh, now let's see, it's hooked through a serial to USB. Oh, that's my laptop. So, now I'm going to run this uh, server called Player, and what it does is it basically establishes a communi full duplex communication channel uh, in order to control the robot. So, let's start with that. Okay. And, I know it's kind of hard to see, but that says done. Uh, so that means connection established, and it's listening on to port 6665. Um, so, now I'm going to run this other uh, program, or script rather, um, called PlayerJoy, and what that does is it will allow me to interface directly just using my keyboard to control the movement of the robot. Um, yes, and it's kind of hard to see, but that basically says you can use these nine keys, but since we're using the iRobot Create platform, uh, we only need I, J, and L for straight, turn left, and turn right. So, let's try to demo that and see if this works. Alright, now the robot's right there. I'm going to try to hit an I. And as you can see, it moves. Uh, you know, I let go of my keyboard. It's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to try to press uh, L, I believe. It's to turn right. Okay, so now I'm having it face... Oh, whoops. I went a little bit over, so I'm going to compensate by pressing J to turn the other way around. Now I'm going to make it come towards me again. If I just tap it, it'll uh, go in, you know, a little jumpy. Um, if I hold it down, it spurts for a little bit and then goes continuously. So, when I let go, it's a little bit of delay between the signals, but that's only to be expected at this point. Um, so yeah, now I've shown you how to work with Player and Player Joy. This is used to test, um, you know, the functionality of the robot and the established communication channel between the robot and your laptop. So yeah.